what is good with y'all WJ gang back again with another banger reaction for y'all man and as I can see by the title bro I got another cheaters reaction man I don't know how y'all been rocking with these cheaters reaction though cuz I enjoy actually watching these cheaters video because it just be so intrigued like damn bro Cause you never know, if it's a dude, I'd be like, bro, don't cheat on her. And if it's a female, I'd be like, damn, don't cheat on him. Cause you know what I'm saying? People cheat, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people cheat in this today's society. So you never know who's loyal to you or not. Yeah, man, let me know if y'all been rocking with these cheaters reactions so I could continue dropping more for y'all, man. Cause I truly enjoy reacting to these cheaters, bro. <laughs> they be mad entertaining, dog. We finna go ahead and hop straight into this reaction, dog. If y'all new to the channel, man, don't forget to smash that thumbs up, share the video, and subscribe for more videos like this one, man. And yeah, let's get straight into it. As much as I don't want to say, do what you gotta do. Yeah. Like, that bitch starting out crazy, bitch. There, but it's like, as much as I don't want to say, do what you gotta do. Yeah. yeah. Like, today we're placing Crown's boyfriend to a loyalty test. Hello? How are you feeling about everything? I'm a little nervous, but... Having any second thoughts, any regrets? At this point, no. Our friends Madeline will be testing Sean's loyalty by hitting on she him and asking... She nervous in hell, bro. <laughs> Why do the females that be testing the dudes be nervous? Like, must be charming to them. Or will he entertain Madeline's advances? I always hope that they're knocked out. Like, I'm sorry. But also, like, we gotta free our homegirls from my friends, you know? Did you get my text for last night? Which one? The, the one about putting my charger up for my friend's house? What about it? Uh, I was just calling to make sure that you got it and you don't forget. Um, can, did you check like how far her house is? John's loyalty test will be taking place in the Bro, he sounds so like, like an aggressive type of dude, you feel me? Like, <laughs> over the phone, he just like, you know, you, you don't know when to do is more in love. Cause the way he's talking to her aggressively like that, it's just like, damn, bro. <laughs> he only asking you about a charger. Madeline is pretending to live here. To get him over, Crown asked him to pick up her laptop charger that she's supposedly going behind. It shouldn't be that far, honestly. Uh, just make sure she told me she'll be home or she'll be free, like, between 3 and 5. And actually, I'm going to give you her number. Yeah, I ain't going to lie to her. I'm, I'm not going to keep pausing it, bro. But one thing I will say is... Dudes be folding on their females that's better than the female they about to fold on. That shows the toy you that dudes will cheat on anything type of shit. Like, they'll, whatever it is, if they got cootie name to it, bro, they'll take it. And, um, yeah, I'll text you her number after, and then you can, you know, just kind of, like, facilitate that whole thing with her. Thank you so much. Um, my boss is, like, right in my ass right now, so I have to go. But I love you, and thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, I love you. Love you too. What does she do? Where so, she work at? My boyfriend, he used to work at. Mm -hmm. Um. Wait, what? So, my boyfriend, he used to work at. Oh, how about to say, why they blur the name, the, where he worked at? at? Mm -hmm. Um, I had another friend who also worked at the coworkers or whatever. Um, she worked in a different department than him, but. She would tell me that there was a girl who did work in his department who at first it was just kind of like whatever but then it ended up being like they were really friendly with each other mm. and i don't know as somebody who's in a relationship i just what like, raised right. the red flags for me right. I feel that. yeah asked him about the relationship what was going on there if there was something at all um and he said that they were just friends everything was cool you know um so did your friends say like they flirt a lot or how does well let me just be honest she's my... first of all bro i don't think my girl would have never allow me to be friendly with anybody or be friends with anybody like if she let her dude be friends with a female that's what makes them cheat yeah i don't ever give them the privilege of being friends with somebody you feel me whether it's a dude or a female because once they get that privilege, bro, they might just cheat on you, bro. That's why you just gotta keep them on lock. Don't keep them on lock on some like okay, possessive, you know, uh, narcissist or whatever. 
But it's just like y'all should understand each other's feelings on certain stuff that y'all can and can't do in a relationship. You know what I'm saying? So be mindful of that. Like don't let child partners do what they can. Okay, especially if you didn't have a best friend or have a friend before getting into the relationship. I don't need you being no friend. Like you don't need no best friend. Like right, what? It's crazy. She's on my team. So yeah, she she really does she make so it seem you know like she bit, does man. yeah, she says they flirt all the time. They take their lunches together and on their lunch, I'm like, hey, like, oh you happy to be eating lunch? Let me sit down. It's like, let's go, take our lunches together, right? And then multiple times, like, okay, one little lunch, whatever, right? Yeah. But then it's like, if I'm here Yeah. I'm not spinning my hands, I'm just eating some cherries and you know, gotta spit the little thing. But yeah. I was gonna say, bro, she has a real ass friend, cause, <laughs> bro, she's telling her everything about what this dude is doing with this other female, supposedly, you feel me? And she just said that when they be eating out, or when they be eating on lunch break, the friend will sit down, like, okay, let's have lunch. That's a real ass friend, bro. No cap. Like, this is a consistent thing? Like, yeah. like what the f is this, you know? Yeah, friend wanted to test her boyfriend's loyalty because she's been very suspicious of him talking to or cheating on her with his co-worker well technically his now ex co-worker you see sean eventually left that job but he's still mm. hanging out with the old co-workers and talking to that girl he got fired from and i was looking happy because it was like okay now you don't gotta deal with the girl but then i found out like he's hanging out with the old co-workers he's going to bars with them oh wow all types of like that and she's there if she can see anybody i'll be the one to tell you that's a red flag like, right there and you know for a fact that when he goes out and hangs out with the co-workers that she's there? Yeah. Have you met her before? I never met her. Mm. Did you think you can find her? Yeah, but at the same time, it's like, if I don't know anything for certain, I can't just, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it's really not her. I'm, I'm not, I don't have an issue with her. For sure. You know, for as much as I know, she don't even know he's in a relationship. Mm. But it's him. Yeah. He needs to understand that like, you're in a relationship right. and that's just not how you operate. You know? facts, and you facts. said that one of the reasons why you want to trust him and you almost don't want to do this is because he gives you access to his phone. He gave me the passcode a long time ago and I, I don't know, I just never never used it. You've never checked his phone. I've never gone through his phone. I, I one, I just feel like I don't have to. I shouldn't have to. Yeah. And, another thing. and another thing is, yeah, like she's, I know she's about to say another thing is you don't want to go through that phone and you find something, bro. <sighs> don't go through phones, bro. Don't ever go through phones. Like, I feel like if you're so adamant about me checking your phone, like you're so open to it, then you probably deleted the shit you don't want me to find. You know, of course, now I feel like I should have checked the phone, yeah. but yeah. whatever, we're here. Whatever the outcome is, I'm going to accept it. I've given him a lot. We've had so many conversations. I've sat him down so many times and just been like, like, just be honest with me, you know? He says he's being honest, but it's just like, there's different stories. I'm getting different stories from different people that just don't add up with what you're saying. Hey, y'all girls better tell her that's that intuition good, bro. That's the intuition good. Like, if you feel like something is saying right with it, it ain't right. Now, of course, like, you know, you as a dude, like, it's still something a lot of dudes learning, including me. And there's always, you know, reassurance, you feel me? Because girls love that for some reason, bro. I feel like us dude, if we know a female is messing with us, we'll just let it be that, you feel me? But girls, they in need of a lot of reassurance, and which is not bad. Like, it's just like a lot of dude, we not used to, like, you know, doing this type of stuff so i would understand like why a certain dude don't do reassurance but that's one thing that girls love bro so do it you feel me you know you know how people talk about like oh this is my work husband you know stuff like that oh you know, my you know what i mean God. like i don't know i don't know i don't know if they're doing that type of shit, but like i'm gonna just have to be the crazy bitch today because I, I i gotta know I, you know and by the way feel free to do whatever okay like, okay whatever you feel like will tempt him how about it I like her respectfully not like that y'all but I like her because she's like do whatever you want to do like I ain't gonna cap and that's what it should be bro I think it should be like a no limit to what the person can do you feel me as long as it's like I feel like you don't try to like touch the the inappropriate area or whatever that's cool but as far as like if it's it, it don't gotta be too physical but at the same time go a lot and I'm saying that because she said do whatever you want to do, you feel me? When you allow the female to do what they want to do, you find out all different aspects of like what he would allow other people to do, you get what I'm saying? So, yeah, I like the fact that he, she like, okay, do whatever. So, you know, we going all out. We're going to see what he's going to accept, what he want to accept. And you know what I'm saying? We're going to go with that.
He said do whatever. <sighs> Are you 50-50? I'm fully 50 50. Fully 50 I don't 50. know. I genuinely do not know. A part of me, you know, really trusts him, but we wouldn't be here. Yeah. If... Some people would say that doing a loyalty test would be like a break of trust as well. At the end of the day, this is it's something that I'm doing for, you know, the sake of saving my relationship. I don't want to just let it go or just go cheat, you know, and just go do my own thing just because I'm assuming that's what he's doing. You know, I want to know for sure before I start making different moves. Back. I think she already knows, though. I think she just wants solid. For sure, but she doesn't have solid, solid evidence yet, so. That's where you come in. Madeline began communicating with Sean and narrowed down his arrival time. We needed to control exactly when he would be coming. That's your car right there, right? Yep, that's me. Yeah, we definitely gotta move that. It's, yeah, yeah. If anything, we'll just have one of our guys, if you're okay with that, yeah. drive it up the street. After making sure everything and everyone was set up and ready to go, all we had to do was just wait for him to arrive. I'm scared. I'm scared. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're a hot time right now, bro. want to have faith in the male species you know after waiting for another 30 minutes or so sean had finally arrived hello hey what's up uh, i'm outside okay uh can you come to the door and i'll come grab you all right sounds good that is car. i think i can even see he drives a black car. Madeline makes her way to the front door to greet Sean. She carries a glass of champagne in her hand. Oh, he's coming. Oh. All right, y'all. Game face. The idea is that Madeline's been day drinking, celebrating the release of her new music. So her job is to act a little tipsy. Hey, how are you? Madeline. What was your name again? Sean. Come on in. Thank you. Okay, here we go. We got him over. That's good. That's a good first step. Sorry, that took so long. I was Hi. getting more champagne, and I'm here with my team right now. This is Sean, guys. He's here to get a charger. Madeline introduces Sean to her supposed team. Her music producer, Nathan, and her manager, Kyle. If you guys recall, to narrow down his arrival time, Madeline told Sean that she had a meeting with them that would wrap up by the time that he got there. Congratulations on your new project and your drop. I'm really excited to see that. I'm going to send you some more beats tonight, too. Oh, yeah. I'd like two more for, like, the next project. Let me yes. know what you think of them. Chefed up a little bit. And then I'll call yeah, you later on with the numbers and how much everything's going to cost. Okay, sounds so good, guys. Nathan and Kyle fulfilled their jobs. A small role, but critical in getting Sean over at a certain time and also making sure that the rest of this test would be believable. I wish I knew that Crown was sending such a hump to come over to get this charger. I would have gotten ready a little bit more. Thanks. Would you like a drink? Okay. I'm going to put this away then. I'll be crushing these side rolls. Could they not the drink? Okay, he's passing just a little bit, y'all. Just a little bit. But we don't know what cup about to do, how he about to fold. Hey, let's keep watching. Feel me, I'm not just a decoy out here. He probably thinks I make the firest beats in the world, bro. All right, cool, whatever, it's fine. He believes it. Uh, I usually don't day drinks, but we're celebrating. We're celebrating. I'm just celebrating. I mean, I, I don't know. You could, can you keep a secret? I really want to tell you. I really want to tell you. Keep but you have to keep a secret. Okay. You have to pinky swear. Pinky swear. Okay. I'm one of these. Yes. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Just like that. It went down just. Ooh. Boom. Just a little bit. Just poke it. Okay. And it's RB. Yeah. Nice, congratulations. Thank you so much. Cheers. I'm literally like so excited about this. Bro, get the charger and dip. That's the best thing you could do, bro. So yeah, what's the charger that she left for that I'm here for? Cause I didn't come here to work to hear you talk about your AP dropping tonight. You feel me? I can't hear the guy that's charging a shape. Would you be down to hear a song? You know what? Actually, no. You hear a song, you tell me what you think, so I would love to have your opinion, and then I will give you the charger. Yeah. It's like that. <laughs> I need some extra ears on this, you know? I'm like this person's eye. It looks like I don't have a choice anyways. <laughs> okay, let's get some of this. He's being friendly as hell right sure, now. I want to drink. Sure. Okay. The next step of our plan would give us access to Sean's phone. Madeline just needed to execute it flawlessly. Are you positive that the password on this phone is still the same? I'm not positive, but I'm, I'm almost. Okay. Shit, shit. 
Okay, the... Oh, wait. Do you have your phone on you? Yes. Okay, can you leave it there, please? Why? Because I don't want you to, like, be secretly recording and then possibly leak my news okay. off. I'm not gonna leave. I, I'm sorry, I just don't trust you like that. I don't trust you like that. Please, just leave it right here. Seriously? Please. I'm so serious. Let me see, make sure you don't have anything. Oh, what's that? It's my wallet. Why are you telling me to put my phone down, bro? It's my wallet, chill. What did, what did she grab? Let me see, make she sure. She grabbing you stuff, y'all? Oh, what's that? It's my wallet, chill. Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm so sorry. What do you think it was? Honestly, you don't want to know. <laughs> Come on, dude. I want to take a shot. <laughs> She's saucing him, y'all. She is really saucing that boy. Hey, bro. Hey. The office closing the door behind her. Please I will see what that meant, folks. Speaker over here. Okay. Let's talk and start the music. A seemingly paranoid and tipsy Madeline successfully manages to convince Sean to leave his phone behind so that he wouldn't leak any of her new music. In reality, though, we simply want the crown to have access to his phone. These songs, this whole project is based around a love interest. This one's acoustic, though. I would have been like, what the hell? I'm not here for your damn music, girl. I'm here for this charge I can get. You feel me? But she's, I guess she's about to grab her phone or something like that. But hopefully she don't find nothing because you don't want to get heartbroken on the spot. And you got all these cameras around you, bro. You know once you find something on that phone, that shit gonna go straight to the chest. Ugh. Oh my god. On top of seeing if Sean would cheat with Madeline, we also want to help Crown find out what the relationship between Sean and his ex-co-worker was. Her name is Evelyn. Are she and Sean really just friends, or are they something more? I mean, remember guys, Evelyn was the whole reason why Crown wanted to do this test in the first place. We had to give her some sort of closure. You ready for this? We're live? We're live. Sure about this, positive about this. Yeah. Once we do this, there's no going back. There's no going back. Once we do this. Oh, you love me, baby? I love you too. Why the music stop? Now I think many of you would agree that we should have followed Sean and Evelyn around and found out if they were hooking up. Remember how his phone is, okay? <laughs> we considered it, but in the end we didn't want to spend possibly weeks stalking them to hopefully catch them in the act. Mm. Next time we'll send Nathan though. It'd be better just to kind of catch them in the act of doing it. How do we have two weeks to go spy on these people? Don't you have anything <laughs> better to do with your time? I don't <laughs> do that. I'm invested. This is, I'm invested, bro. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. And just like that, we were into Sean's phone. Now, we didn't want Crown to go through it. We simply wanted her to change her name with Evelyn's, delete both of their message threats, and then text Sean something with... Oh, my God. Y'all, that plan is amazing, bro. W's, man. W's for them boys. W's. Whoever came up with that plan is fire. She's literally about to change her name into her name, making him think that's her. What's the name? Yo, that's crazy. Hey, babe. Doc, doc, doc. We would then get Sean to look at his phone, and he would hopefully think that it's Evelyn. His response to that text would tell Crown everything she needs to know. Not the pity of it. So, Evelyn is it Eva? 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 Is it Eva? It's not. Interesting. Is it Eva? Surprisingly, Crown couldn't find an Evelyn in his phone. All she found was an Eva, which could have been short for Evelyn. That one's you. This one's called Gotta Have It. It's like my third favorite. Madeline continues playing more music to buy us more time. They, they talk, like they have full conversations. Let's see, okay, but do you see how some of these, I think he's deleting some do you see how like, some of these are getting, there's so many gaps. He said this yesterday, right? Then, that man deleting. In trying to figure out if this was or wasn't Evelyn, Crown inevitably ended up reading some messages. I didn't want to show them because I wasn't sure if this was even his ex coworker, but their threat was interesting. There were gaps between messages. To give you guys a visual example, here's a message thread between me and my friends. You notice the gaps between our texts? Tuesday. It looks like this because we hardly text each other. We communicate more through voice messages than just call each other. So Sean and this other girl didn't text each other very frequently, or Sean was deleting messages. Hmm. 
That boy deleting stuff, bro. He's deleting stuff, man. Damn, don't fall like that. But I don't, that's why I don't cheat, bro. Because there's no point. If you're going to cheat, you might as well just break up with your girlfriend or whoever you with. Because cheating takes more energy than if you were just like, okay, um, I don't think this is going to work out no more. And yeah, this and that. Because cheating, bro, you got to go through hell of stuff. And then once you break that law and that person finds you cheating, there's, I don't think that they ever going to gain that trust ever again. So I don't want to put nobody through that, none of that, bro. They be talking. He's still leaving. He's deleting all of it. See, like it's like he's deleting messages. It's like they're talking yeah. so much. Are you sure this is Evelyn? Evelyn? Ah, it's gotta be. I don't blame Crime for assuming the worst. I mean, we're filming a loyalty test after all. The reality, though, is that Sean may not be deleting messages. That doesn't mean that he and this girl aren't communicating in some other form, though. Okay, I'm done. No, see, that's all. Enough. So switch Ava's name to my name. Yeah. Once you do it, there's literally like no one back. Like he's gonna know. Crime was convinced that Eva was short for Evelyn and that Sean was deleting messages, so she moved forward with our plan. Just your threat. Mm -hmm. And with that, our mission was accomplished. All we had to do now was send Sean that text. By the way, shout out to Madeline for holding him there. She actually did drop some new music, guys. That was a part of the test, but not an act. Go check it out and download it now. Tosh, yeah, y'all go check that music out, bro. So this one's actually like, oh yeah, I could tell that she's got a little freak in it. Mm. Everyone gotta have a little freak yeah. in it. <laughs> My heart is pounding. Because... You think he's deleting it? Or you think they could also be like voice chatting? Or like they're communicating like in some other form? Like maybe it's like a phone call or something or Snapchat or something. And then... I didn't even think about that. <laughs> I should have shut the eyes. Uh, a part of me honestly felt bad, guys, because Crown had held off so long in not going through Sean's phone, and our plan low key made it go through his phone. Now we had her in her head about even more things. Maybe it's going to turn out to be <laughs> nothing, though. Maybe Eva isn't even Evelyn. Either way, uh, just the fact that they're like texting back and forth. Yeah. I don't know how to feel right now. He oh, is high shit. Prepare the text that you're going to. Oh, okay. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, yeah. I want to say, hey, babe, um, what you doing tonight? Maybe not the tonight, because Madeline's about to ask oh, him. Oh, yeah. So, hey, babe, what you doing? So, he might get suspicious. Okay. Don't tell me about that. I'll let you know that. Just hold on until I get out. I swear to God, if he responds something like... Ideally, he should say, who the f***, babe, what the f*** do you mean to text this? Or, yeah, like, yeah. you got the wrong number, you know? Like... He better respond, babe, who the f***, he's red. Something along those lines, right? <laughs> What do y'all think? Do y'all think he finna fold or not? Before he even picks up his phone, y'all, do y'all think he about to fold or not, man? Let me know in the comments down below right now before I unpause this video. Because something tells me he's cheating, but at the same time, you don't know for real, for real. But we about to go ahead and see, man, because <sighs> I know old girl about to be mad heartbroken if he is cheating on her. Sure that he saw it, and now all we had to do was wait for his response. Is he texting? 
There's no doubt about it. Sean saw the text. The question was, what would he reply? Okay, I'm not gonna show up. I don't want you all to hear me. I really have to ego. Sean was on his phone, but no text was coming through. And it was responding. Well, he's just looking at it like you think he's catching on. Mm, he could. This whole time, like I don't know. This man really went radio silent on us. Like he's on his freaking phone. Madeline pointed out the message. He saw it. He read it. You got me thinking about family. Social media is not texting. He's not texting that. He's seriously not. He's on his phone. That's what I'm saying. He saw it. He's on his phone. He's like, I know you saw that. Come on, Sean, give us something. Even if it's an emoji or a confused question mark, something to tell us the dynamic between you and this other girl's relationship. Prove <laughs> us wrong about you. Now is your chance. Okay, I'm really going to go pee, though, guys, because I got to go. <laughs> I really thought he was going to text back. The only reason I can think of him not responding is that he's suspicious of it because there's no other messages. And I feel like he thinks that he deleted the thread. places with this plan but unfortunately not sean didn't text back a thing madeline gave it three to five minutes before going back outside more than enough time to take a piss and for this man to reply i thought we were going places i really really did oh, i had a, maybe a little bit too much champagne <laughs> so sorry about that we may never learn the dynamic between him and this Eva or Evelyn girl, I mean, if they're even the same person, but at least we are gonna learn if he would be willing to go on a date with Madeline, which honestly, still says a lot. By the way, just so you guys know, this was completely unplanned, the fact that you guys are matching. Bounce the foot, bounce the foot, there it is. No free toes, girl, no free toes. Hey, Madeline, what's up? Hey, what's up? Party going. We are. <laughs> so, did you get a chance to check your schedule? Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm down to like hang out. I, I'll be done like around eight. Maybe we can meet like at nine. What are you gonna do though? You wanna stay here? You wanna go live? Uh -huh. Probably just stay here. I have some more champagne. I can like chill in the jacuzzi. Yeah. I, I do, yeah. <laughs> I also have um, a few other songs I could show you, so maybe. I feel like for this, bro, like that's already a fail. That's done. There was no hesitation. That means this, he's doing this all the time. The fact that Sean was down to hang out with zero hesitation does say a lot. He probably already sensed Madeline suddenly flirting with him, and he was with it. Maybe this is why he didn't text anything back. Well, I mean, it's none of my business, but who is Eva? 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 She's just a friend. She's just doing this. I was up to. Just a friend. I mean, it didn't seem like a friend thing. <laughs> nah, she's playing. She's playing. She's just a friend. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I just don't want to step on any toes, you know? I'm like, obviously, Crown is my friend. Like, yeah. I, when she texted me earlier, she's like, hey, is it okay if my BF comes and picks up my charger? Mm -hmm. And, like, to me, I didn't click to me, like, oh, is it boyfriend or best friend? You know? So I was like... I mean, or a thing, I guess. Mm -hmm. A thing. Like, what does that mean? It's complicated. It was like... <laughs> You just said it's complicated. Like situation trip, talking, dating. It's never off or off. Oh, okay, so it's one of those. Mm. So are you guys on right now or off right now? Like, would she care if we hung out tonight? No, I mean, we're just, we're just hanging out. Yeah, but what if, like, something happens? <laughs> if it happens, it happens. How do you take that? Uh, I don't have any words right now. I mean, at the end of the day, like, none of my business, and I can care less, you know? I just, like, don't want to step on anyone's toes. No, 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 we'll be fine. We're just, just hanging out. So, I mean, I'm just saying, you never know what's going to happen. We're going to be, like, in the hot tub. It's like, if we're going to be drinking, I'm not going to drive home, you know? Like, you're obviously not going to stay. Oh, 
Okay, so she wouldn't care. See that? He knows. He knows he's wrong. Mm -hmm. He can't even say it. Yeah. He can't even say it. If this was my girlfriend, like that, bro. Oh my god. We going to jail. I mean, I'm going straight to jail. It'll be over. It'll be over. Okay. Well, I'll see you later. But let me look for this charger. I know it's in one of these drawers. Sorry, I kept you for so long. Uh, it was a good time. A good company. I'm glad. Here, finally, <laughs> what you came for. Thank you so much. Of course. Oh wait, is that one with the wait? Let me see. Oh wait, that one's mine. Oh. Ma'am, let me check in the room really quickly. This has to be here. So you can come with me. Can you help me find it? I don't want to keep you much longer. I'm really sorry. Give me all of this. <laughs> you know, alcohol makes you forgetful. Yeah. Let me check over here. I don't know. Where would it be? Where would it be? Look at him. Damn. Crown catches Sean checking Madeline out. This man was not just looking, he was also licking his lips. <laughs> <laughs> over here. Come. So many so really oh. ish. But now that I have you here, really, really quickly, I totally forgot to show you something. Okay. Madeline initially gave Sean the wrong charger so that she could bring him back into the office and show off her merch. With the correct charger now literally in his hands, though, he can leave. There is nothing holding him here anymore. Unless, of course, he wants to be here. Okay, sit down. I'm going to give you a little fashion show. <laughs> okay, he's got the charger. He can now leave. Go he doesn't have to stay anymore. He does not have to stay anymore. He can take them off. So I have two designs. These are just like, oh. mo like, like oh. test mock-ups. Mock like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to show you the, my least favorite. So I have this one. Oh. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, this is one. This one be for the boys. So I'm Madeline Monet. I know I didn't tell you that earlier. That's my artist name. It's also my real name, which is like really cool. Thank you. Okay, you want to hold it? Check it out. This Bro, one he is, is cheating so favorite. bad. This one's custom made though. This one also says Time is Monet, but it has like a little graphic, like all over. Yeah, it's like a mini dress. It is. <laughs> Hey, I want my girls to feel bad. You know, like, I mean, you listen to my music. It's like, it's sexy, boss, like, sensual, lover girl. It's really good. Can I sit? Okay. What? She's sitting on the She said you can do whatever you want. Charger before Madeline ultimately sealed the deal. This man had a chance to leave, and even now he has a chance to push her off, but he doesn't. How do you take this? How would you take it? Hi. Yes, man, cheating. That's how I take so it. So, what do you think? I like it. Like, it's very creative, you know, in every, like, every way. Uh -huh. Yes, I try. I do try. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. You're not crying. <laughs> no, I'm good. No, I'm good. I'm sorry. In my opinion, there was no point in continuing this any further. I mean, Sean told Madeline that he and Crown were complicated, that they were on and off. He was down to hang out, he was down for whatevers, and I know Madeline was the one that sat down on his lap, but he could at least say something. Instead, mm -hmm. he chooses to put his hands on her waist. No. That's way too comfortable. Bro, why the f*** is he letting her on his lap like that? He's enjoying this a drug mm -hmm. bit too much. No, he probably thinks they really gonna smash. This is ridiculous. This is the end. Oh, God. Yeah, I don't know how really, I don't really have any words right now. Do you see a point in continuing this test to like a... I mean, like... <laughs> like, at this point, I feel like I, I don't need anything else. Um, I got, like, pretty much everything I needed, so... I'm like, yeah. I don't care. I, I'm over it. Yeah. 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 <sighs> is it hot here? Like, is the... I'm fine, honestly. Oh, you're fine? Okay. Look how he's looking at her though. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna get pound town? You wanna go to pound town? <laughs> yeah. You still want to do that? Yeah, I do. Did you still want to do what we talked about in terms of you going out there without the cameras and kind of like interviewing him to see what reaction he gives you first? Um, and then the cameras come out just so he doesn't like, freak out. Yeah. You wanna do that? Okay.
It's complicated. <laughs> well, so tell me about yourself. Our plan to find out if Sean was cheating with his co-worker didn't exactly pan out how we thought it would. However, we did find out that Sean was willing to trade his girlfriend for another girl. Which, like I said, says a lot. I hope you guys have your talkies for this. Because you guys already know. This shit's Should I got gonna my, be... Should I got my chip for this? Because this is gonna be good. Remember, <laughs> <laughs> just you until you call out about the cameras. What are you doing? What? what are you doing? What? What are you doing, mister? I'm not that tipsy, boy. You can't have your way with me. Tom, Nathan, we are ending this here. I will walk you guys when to come in. Okay, perfect. Madeline? Oh, yeah? It sounds like it. Damn. Um, you want to come out here? Do you want to... What? She like what the hell? He has no idea what happened. Simple. Come on, to see y'all. <laughs> yeah. Cause he's so shot right now. Like he like, his eyes probably so like wide. <laughs> How are you? What's up? Why are you acting weird? How are you chilling? <laughs> are you chilling? Why are you over there? I'm like, come here. Like, sit down. Oh, he looks guilty as. Oh, he knows. Oh, he's scared. Sit down. Like, what is so... <laughs> and then you giving yourself up by right? acting stiff and not moving when she tell you to come here. So you just look guilty and acting guilty, yo. Can I get you a drink, girl? Please. <laughs> bro. So what's up? What you... One thing is, dudes are not smooth when it comes to cheating, bro. At all. Thank you. He's either really confused or he knows exactly what happened. So for ten minutes, you've been looking all over the house for this and nothing was going on? Absolutely. I don't know what to tell you. It's your friend. Okay. What? Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? I just it's your friend. Like, what is all this hostility? Like you're a little defensive right now. Like, I don't, I don't even understand. Like, I'm literally, I swear what's, to you, what's, what's I'm just trying to understand. I'm just trying to understand. You told me to come get your charger. Right. I have your tickets right there, right? It is right here. Exactly. So, like, what's the problem? Well, the problem is, she could have brought that mother charger to the, to the door. Yeah. I'm not doing this. No. I learned one thing is don't ever call a female insecure, bro. Don't. Because they not being insecure, bro. And he's just mad he got caught cheating. That's why she's there, he knows. Are you serious? Okay. So, quick question. Quick, I'm just curious. Are we together, in your opinion? We're a couple or not, not wishy-washy, like we are together. We are a We're couple. Together, yeah. I don't know, I'm asking you. You don't gotta do all that smart act. I just wanna know if, if you think we're together. If you see us as a couple. <sighs> I'm interrogating you because you're lying. I'm lying. What do you mean I'm lying? Because you're lying to my face. Now you've been lying to my face. I'm not acting. Are you dating me right now? You got me the. Her acting insecure. Why did you leave? Look, I don't gotta ask you a question. What is over? I was sitting on your lap for like five minutes. That's how you operate. That's how you do it. What the f you know, thinking sometimes? Are you serious? I tried to give you like multiple chances to just kind of tell me what the f happened. And I told you what and happened. And you told me what the f happened, mm -hmm. but it was all a lie. And you know how I know it was a f lie? You know it was a lie. Because I have a whole entire camera crew watching you. We were watching you the whole time. Alright, let's go. Let's <laughs> go. Yeah, he's caught. Just like that. Because I knew you were lying. You know, I, like, I really wanted to. But. Yo, what the You've been lying to me, okay? Yeah, also, question, who's, who's Ava? What is this? Oh, you did all this, you feel like you did something? What the f is this? I don't feel like I did. You did some f Dude, like, what the f You started from the door, like... I'm freeing my homegirl. First of all... You sabotaging her relationship, that's what you Am I sabotaging, or did you sabotage her? You sabotaged... <laughs> homie, you sabotaged the relationship, cause you just full on blowing, showing that you a cheat. You are full blown cheating, bro. You feel me? So you sabotage that bit. All the time. Like, what the f is this? Like, what 
compliments of touching me. I'm touching you? First of all, what would I have to do touching my friend's boyfriend? Are you kidding me? Yeah, you did it. You, you, really, you, are really, you are really sitting here after I watched that camera. No, 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 listen. No, you've been on camera all day. It don't, it don't matter. You, have, you are sitting here. You are sitting here getting defensive. Getting defensive is when I watched you this entire from the moment you walked up to that. What the? He <laughs> said, "Bro, what the fuck?" He's so confused. People keep walking in after people. He don't know what's going on. Okay. Can y'all stop? No, we're not stopping. Cause you're cut. So Sean, so just so you know, this entire thing was just a loyalty test. Like your girlfriend wanted to find out if you were loyal to her or not. She felt like you were talking to your coworker. She knows about Evelyn, Ava, Evelyn. She knows about your coworker, Evelyn, or something. And she thought that you were obviously cheating on her with. Bro, I don't know you. Like, none of this was real, basically. Everybody was in on this. No, 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 no. Don't no. no, set this on up because you're so foolish. You got me fucked up. You won't even own up and be like, yeah, I fucked up, bro. What the f is wrong with you? You won't even own up and say, I fucked up. I'm playing fucking games. Like, this I'm is playing. Bullshit. I'm not like, it wasn't even real, so I wasn't even gonna cheat. Like, okay. it's me. Nah, bro. You ain't even gonna cheat. <laughs> No, I could. This nigga fraud, bro. He is fraud, y'all. So you tell him to sit up here and say you not you wasn't gonna cheat. It's clear as day you was gonna cheat, my boy. It's clear as day you was gonna cheat. If that girl would have let you clap some that moment, then and there, you would have clapped some, bro. Come on, bro. Is he cheating? What is cheating? Cheating. cheating? I'm sorry. Cause if I'm sitting on another nigga lap, how does that feel? What's that? So if, okay, but okay, but so if I go sit on another nigga's lap, what's that? Just saying goodbye? Bet, I'm about to go say goodbye to hella niggas. Bet. I should throw it in your face, but I ain't gonna do it because I'm a good person. But you got me hella up, bro. Real. You look crazy, bro. <sighs> so if I go sit on another nigga lap, do what you want. You know, you what's that called? Up, right? So it's like, I guess we're over already. Do what you want. Hell yes. Get that. You don't gotta be here if you don't want it, Sean. You know, we're no, just. No, you don't gotta be here. Get the fuck out of here. No! I don't even know why the f you are here. Take this goddamn stupid ass charger too. I'm gonna charge it. The charger. You the charger. Take all that. You weirdest. You're weirdest. I don't give a f about no going on. He got me. Oh my god, he got me so fed up. Oh my god. I, if he was sincere about it, he was like, okay, you know, like I did f up. This happened. This happened. Okay, that's one thing. You know what I mean? But for you to try to make me feel stupid, yeah, after you, bro. After you got caught, bro, you can't be doing that. Cause at least if you would have owned up to it, yeah, this and that. But in this clear as day, you will cheat on her, bro. Cause you, you behind this girl down. You letting her sit on your lap, all types of shit, bro. She just grabbed that charger. Like, and go. you look stupid. Oh my god, I'm so high. Oh my goodness. was a crazy ad uh, loyalty test bro that's one of the best ones yet just because hey bro this man really didn't want to own up to his mistakes like bro you got caught red-handed are you still lying about it bro so like what's the point you already got caught but let me know if y'all enjoyed this reaction, man. Let me know what kind of reaction y'all want to see next in the comment section down below. If y'all enjoying these reactions, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, share the video, and hit that red button. And also, hit that post notification so y'all can know when I post for y'all, man. So y'all can always be tuned in to these crazy reactions, though. And yeah, man, I'm going to go ahead and catch you on the next reaction. Peace.